You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I am going to check out the last Happy Meal toy set from McDonald's for 2018. I need to complete the year, and I just got the set. I was a little behind the times, uh, so thank you for stopping by and taking time to watch the video. Now, I need to check out the box first. There are six toys. They each have a sticker sheet, so that'll be interesting to see how that all works out. So let's do this. I will talk more when I come back. Let's check out the box. All right, so what are we gonna see here? It says, discover the heroes of the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. And then this panel connects to it. Catch the goodness of apple slices in your Happy Meal. Did you know there are over 2,000 varieties of apples in the world? I did not know that. That's a lot of apples. Then this side is actually a punch-out side. It says, try the Spider-Man digital masks available on the McPlay app. And then they also have a pop-out, your wrist man to become a spider hero. It's a two-piece set that comes out of the box. And then this side is the red panel. And then the toys for next time, which brings me to the point, I will not be doing any more brand new Happy Meal toys for 2019. Just can't do them anymore. I will focus on all of the older sets and older McDonald's items I have in my collection. All right, that's enough of the box. I'm going to leave it as is, and I will come back now and check out the toys. All right, toy number one, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This is Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man, and it looks like each one has a sticker sheet. All right. So this could be one of those longer, unintended longer videos that I don't really speed up. Oh, wow, look at that. So there are two sets. And this was like this. So I don't know if I had pulled these out of the bag. Very interesting. Now, it says, one, there is an on-off switch, okay? Two, there is a button in the... Oh, what was that? It sounds like a web shooter. So this hand moves up and it sounds like you're shooting a web. And it looks like you have a variety of options. Huh. Yeah, so you have Spider-Man or Spider-Gwen, a you pick. Ooh. And you have two different masks here, options for masks. So option two, two, all right, so you have two different ways of doing that one. And then this one has, let's see. Yeah, it looks like two options for this one as well. So what do you think I should do? That is the question. Oh, I bet you everyone would do this. Do this one, Spider-Man. I'm gonna do Spider-Gwen. All right, so let's see. The number two goes on the outside. There's only one number two that I see, all right. Let's see if these are easy to do. Oh, remember the last set? It took me forever. There were so many tiny, tiny stickers. Oh, yes, I have about eight Happy Meal displays with the toys in them. That's kind of what I want to be doing and showing you those cool displays. So it looks like it's a little further down here. I can't see these going on very even. I don't know, something tells me that uh, there's just gonna be a lot of stickers placed in odd spots. <laughs> okay, so then this is one, so ones are up here. Like if you don't get that one right and you put it in the wrong spot, then it's not gonna work for the two, is it? So there were two different eye options. I picked this one. You know what I'm saying about being very inconsistently placed, I can't see. Since there's no clear spots marked on these, it's really a guessing game where you're gonna put them. Yeah, so I have about eight complete displays that are older displays with the toys in them. And I have about 15, Maybe t 10 to 15 complete vintage sets, and then I have two or three bins just filled with older, older McDonald's toys and items that I just want to show you. 
Okay, number four is right in the middle. You know what I'm saying about the face? If, if one thing is not placed right, nothing's going to look right. Okay, and then each arm has a little piece of... There's a five on the left. Oh, it's got to wrap around the arm. Whoa. You're kidding me, right? They want this to wrap around? Wow. It does, but it's not going to be perfect. Okay. Six on the other side. And it's weird. Five was shaped this way, and the six is straight. You know, I can't tell you how many toys I've done, right? A lot. This, this to me, is one of the oddest toy sets I've ever seen. And then seven is around the legs. Are you with me on that? I don't know. I think I'd rather just have the toys completed without having to go through this. Because look, is it supposed to line up? Is it not supposed to line up? What did you do to me, McDonald's? My last set for 2018? Really? But then again, you know, it's for just playing, right? So do your best. Put them on the best way you can and then uh, play with your toy. And then both these are around the bottom foot area. Maybe at the end of this video I'll show you two or three sets that I have coming up and you could pick. You pick which one you want to see next for vintage. Vintage and older. Maybe not as vintage as some of the early, early sets, but more like retro sets. Okay. Oh, what's this one? It looks like a bonus. It is, so you have a bonus one there. You have a bonus one here. Let's put them on the back. Here, I'll put them on the side. They'll be like earrings. Spider earrings, how's that? Okay, let me give you a close-up of that one. As the camera learns to focus. And then, let's see. Numero two. Here's the thing about these stickers. If I put these away, come back in six months, they will be peeled off, usually. And not by choice. They're just peeled off because they're just the way these toys are. All right, number two. Let's see, number two. Okay, let's see if they give me options here. This is Miles Morales or Spider-Man toy. Now I've not seen anything with this, so I don't know any of the characters and what's going on here. You almost need two toys of each one so you can see the two options. Okay, so what do we have here? Ooh, a string. Ah, pull out and then push in. Pull out and pull up and then it goes, it goes, it goes in. <laughs> there you go. All right, and whoo Takes a couple times. There we go. There's no other movement on these. They almost kind of remind me of like the bobblehead pop vinyls, don't they? They're kind of like a certain plainness to them. Oh, look at that. Okay, so there's my two options. Let us, they're very similar in some ways, just the shape and design. Let's go with all the odd ones. Let's do none of the Spider-Man ones. Okay, one at the top. 
Okay, looks like it's gonna be right up here. And then two, his eyes on each side, so I have options there. Ah, he is taking shape. Three is the big piece right in front, which kind of completes this setup. Wow, there's a five, a four, and a five right around his arm. what was going through the McDonald's minds at this point. You need to be a decal aficionado to do these. Or sticker. Those actually lined up pretty good. And then these fives are right on his shoulder. And they kind of go like this. They're really hard to see and put in. I'm kind of just basically letting it fall in there and hopefully it sticks. Okay, now six looks like a big center plate or shield in front. Seven is around his ankles. I say his just arbitrarily, okay? If I say that on a girl one, then it's his in an inanimate little plastic toy, not anything other than that, okay? Okay, almost like a little anklet there. And then eight is around his feet. Okay. There you go. Now you have that extra set, and then this one has the two bonus ones on it, okay? So you have other options. What do you think of that one? Voila. I, of course, like to show them all again at the end, but I will forego too much of that right now. We saw how it worked. You just kind of pull it out, and then it zips back in. No, oh, it does it almost for you. You don't have to pull it. That works good. And I don't mess with it. That works better. Okay, so you don't have to pull it out. All right, number three. I'm going to get through number three and then take a little stop a -roozy. This one is Spider Gwen and Prowler. Ooh, you know I got to do the Prowler. Okay, ooh, magnetic, what? Oh, that's like magnet head, magnet back here? Anything metal, a pair of scissors I got. Yeah, ew. Wee, wee! Oh, that hurt. Prowler and Spider Gwen. I keep flipping them opposite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What do you think, Prowler? Yeah, I said I wouldn't do any of the spider versions. Okay, the face is just two. But they give you two options for that one, eyes looking downward and eyes looking upward.
I do have these massive bins of just collections of toys that are not complete. So I thought, well, I'm going to open a bunch of those up and just kind of grab 20 or 30 at a time and show them to you so you can kind of just, you know, have some fun seeing a variety of toys and not just a set. Because it's impossible for some of these toys to actually find the sets. That's the issue. I just can't keep finding them and then they want just outrageous prices for them too. And when you need, a, you know, when, when you got a set that's got six and missing two, sometimes it's hard to find the two and no one sells the two, but they sell a set. So then you end up buying another set. So by the time you're done, you've just bought the set. And you know, I always like to try to show you the bags. So I've got all the sets I have so far have the bags with them or boxes. Okay. That was right in front. It was on a little angle. I put it straight and then five. It's around the ankles again. So that's one reason. I need to just kind of, oh, I ripped it. Oh, bummer. No Gouda. I guess you could say I'm just cleaning the house. I've got so much stuff. And I keep adding new stuff and it's just been very overwhelming. Oh, there was two number fours. There's this number four and this number four. Hmm. Then you put these on the back. To complete the look. That's what I'm gonna use them for anyway. It's my toy. And then, oh, so there aren't, there are none that go around the bottom foot area like all the other ones. And then there was one bonus one here, which I'm going to use right here. I don't know why. And this one is magnetic, so there's not much more to it. All right, so let me give you a shot of that one. I'll take a quick little break, see? And we'll take a look-see at the next toy -see. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. All right, I am back, see. We have Spider-Ham and Spider-Man Noir. Spider-Ham. All right, let's see. It looks like something. It's a keychain or something. I, hard to tell. It's all black. Everything's black, including the majority of that sticker sheet. Okay. So there's Spider-Man Noir. And spider ham. I gotta do spider ham, I guess. It's just funny. And then, oh, that pulls out. Okay, did I do some? Oh, and then you. And then he goes up. Out. And then. Zip. There you go. All right. It's always fun to see something different. Okay, and then. Wow, it just looks really intense, doesn't it? Look at all the pieces. So you've got a one, I said I was gonna do it. I'm not gonna shy away from a project. Now the shape of one is this one. Okay, so that looks a little bit different. You gotta put this kind of up here and then two little sixes at the top. One up here. That's one thing I've never really... I, I try not to shy away. If I feel like something's going to take me a long time, I could see that frustrating a lot of people. Like, oh man, it's going to take forever. Should I do it? I usually forge ahead into it. Two. this way that's one thing you can say that's why some of my videos are rather intense in length it does take a lot more out of you when you have to 
do that when making videos. So I don't take the easy way out. So it's this one with the double circles. Look at that. All right, so basically I need to now, I got the sixes. So we did this one. I need those side pieces, so those are fives. little bit off but like I said really hard to do eights in the middle sevens around the arms wow look at the sevens My guess is that the majority of YouTubers that do these sets aren't going to do the whole decal thing in real time. They're going to speed it up. They're going to probably take breaks here and there that you don't see. So it is a little more challenging this way, let me tell you that. And you do make mistakes, like I ripped a sticker, I put a couple on that I didn't like. What's four and five? Oh, I picked a different ones. There's these two which match these two. Oh, there is two different four and fives. Okay. I don't know if I grabbed the right one. Now this one has one, two, three spiders, extra spiders to check out. Okay. I have no idea if I did this one right because I was looking at this one, but then there's also this one. So I think I did this one, but it all turns out to be that. Okay. All right. Let me give you a close up of that. Really squirrely on my... <laughs> That's cool. It's like exit, stage left. Yeah, I'm out of here. I really don't want to turn around because then you can see how bad the stickers line up. Okay, he only stands like that. All right. Numero five. Well, start telling me now if you like these. If you, I know you like the new sets. I know a lot of people do like the new sets. I like doing the new sets, but the cost of the new sets is going up. More and more people selling them, of course, on eBay. I used to be able to go into a McDonald's, and we knew the manager at the time, and they would just give us a really good deal on the sets with the box, but they were shut down from doing that. All McDonald's stopped to... Uh, the manager would no longer give away or sell the sets. So then we had to start finding them one by one, one toy at a time, looking everywhere for them. It was near impossible. And at times we would just have to buy them on eBay. So that's what we did. All right, so, oh, I didn't even read the bag. Uh, we have Miles Morales and SPDR. Doctor? I don't know, Spider-Man Doctor? I have no idea. I haven't seen it. Okay, so I got to do the next Miles. But it looks like the disc slides in and then clicks out. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So I will say some sets like this, I think it was $9, which is really good with the shipping. Maybe $12 with the shipping. Now, you used to be able to go into McDonald's and uh, they would sell us the toys for a dollar a piece, which was fair. Okay, so I'll do this one right here.
and we get out of there with six six bucks and they just throw in the Happy Meal box so that was nice those days are long gone if you think about it I'm gonna be on my tenth year Weird, things have really changed so now I guess by the end of the year I've probably spent I don't know three hundred dollars three hundred fifty bucks on Happy Meal toy sets Personally, I'd rather, if I was going to invest that, I'd rather invest that in older toys, vintage toys, not new ones. Okay, there you go. And some of them, like the Mario toys or other very top to brands, cost even more. Here's another arm one. I'm not sure. This one was probably one of the cheapest sets I've ever been able to pick up. And then I still have to go out and get the box. So I have a McDonald's that I go to. They know me there. They always say, need a box? The manager knows me there. Yes, I would like a box. So they take care of that. They don't charge me for the box. Wow. This is so. T oh. oh, I lost it. Where'd it go? Oh, it's on my pinky. Get back here. Oh, it's stuck. Well, oh, it's stuck. All right. I just happened to have a tweezers nearby. Why? Because I was fixing a toy. A vintage game that I have that I've been wanting to show you, but the battery compartment was broken, so I had to super glue, patch it, and uh, that's why that pair of tweezers was out and handy. Yes, before I started this video, that's what I was doing. It's an interesting game, and I thought, well, you know, this will be cool. But the battery compartment was broken, so I wanted to patch it and fix it. So I did. I ripped that sticker. Okay, I'm moving kind of quick here. And then two little sevens. Where's the seven? Did I mix that up? Oh, it's a, oh, oh, man. I, Oh, it's two pieces. So six goes up top. Okay, seven goes underneath this little opening. So you can still shoot out your little discs. And six goes above it. Okay. So I have a box that I bought at a garage sale for like 20 bucks. It must have had 100 toys in it. And just loads of Happy Meal bags and Happy Meal boxes. So that's the kind of stuff I want to go for to show you. There's just so many people doing new toys. It's amazing how many people are doing the new Happy Meal toys. All right, so there we go. And then you have three different spiders on these. And then let's see, they're all a little bit different on both sides from what I'm seeing. So let me put them all this way without the information. And then I know I flipped them because this side has some writing. Okay. One or more a toy. I've got one or more a toy to do for you today. Last but not least is Spider Ham Toy. If I'm seeing things correctly, Spider Ham looks like a pig. OK. 
Okay, so there's a spinner. Some type of spinner device. Goes up here. And it looks like it just slides in. And then there's a button here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, get back here. Okay, that made it on the floor. Let's finish it and I'll get it. This is the only one with a piece of cardboard. I don't know, these, looking at these sheets, it could be very overwhelming to anybody who's considering making these. Not only do they give you two sheets, they give you two options on each sheet for the face. So for ease of building, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to build this. I'm not trying to make that with that. So I can take the one that's right here. This time, I'm taking the easy way to build or apply. So is the song Spider Ham? Spider Ham. If he can do it, Spider Ham can. What, what is the song for Spider Ham? Oh, look at it. That's cute. And then... Oh, the ears are fives. Wait a minute. Sixes. It looks like they fold over around here. Okay. And then three is right in the middle. And then next to the threes are four and f oh, twos. Well, I got the twos. Down here, four and five. Four on the left. Five on the right. You have five on the right. Okay. And then nine and eight. Eight on one arm. This one. It kind of goes around his head. See where it matches there? And then nine is around this arm. Uh, you got to tell me what you think of these. Seven is right in the middle. Okay. Ten is around his legs. Shall I say ham's legs? Okay, I've done a lot of chit chatting. I think I got them all. There's lots of bonus ones on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six bonus stickers, plus the optional second way of doing it. Okay, let me give you a close up of that. Okay, I've done them all. Let me grab my trusty spinner. I will come back and show you the set of six. Plus I'll do this one one more time once I go find a little spinning wheel that goes on top. All right, I just finished setting them up. Let me go back. I know that is number six, number one. Now I put the sticker sheet of the one that I did not make so you can kind of see what you missed out on. You almost need a second one to display this correctly. And then I notice it's time for my spinner needs a paint, needs to be repainted. 
that's something I do once a year. So that is next on the list of things to do. All right, so this, when you do this, and it doesn't go too high, it doesn't like shoot to the the ceiling, but it will go go up. Whoa! Oh, that's a fail. Here we go, and action. And on the floor again. The first time I did it, it stayed right on the table. Oh, I got it. It was close enough. Let's do it again. Nice. Get back here. So it spins pretty good. I'm going to make that my favorite toy because it's the only one that really does something that looks somewhat entertaining. All right, we'll give you a last shot here. All right, so you know what's going on now. No more new toys for 2019. Only vintage and old toys. And some unique stuff, which I have to show you. And I think doing the new toys is taking up a lot of my time. And I have not been able to show you the cool old toys and sets I have. All right, so let me know which one you like here. Which is your fave? How many names did I mess up on? How many stickers did I mess up on? No, just tell me how much fun you had today. And thanks for watching. I will be right back now with the two sets that I will give you an option. You pick which one you want to see next. I'll be right back with that. All right, so what do you want to see? The 1991, yes, Batman set with the original bag or the... 1991 hook set with the original box. This is four. This I'm pretty sure was collect all four, but I've got a couple sets in here. I'll verify that. So let me know. I'll put that up as a poll. Which of the two sets you pick, and we will see what video is next for McDonald's Happy Meal Toys. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.